What's going on guys, this is your boy Project Iceman, I'm bringing another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Now, first things first, I'm going to see if I can go back into that penthouse and see if um, I need to interact with those guys. Since technically, I am a member of Team Bladestar. I wanted to see if I was supposed to rescue them for being arrested or something like that. Alright, so next we head east to the shopping district. Wait in line like the rest of us. I'm actually trying to. Waiting for an order to be ready is the worst thing that can happen to anyone. They don't care if you have a schedule. Oh, right, I battled you. Got 26 deliveries to take care of today. Arceus have mercy on my soul. <laughs> oh. ice cream but ah here we go ah Shen you made it just in time the show's about to start that being said are you all ready to enter yes ma'am great tickets please there you are three tickets two for, two for my two friends and I thank you please enjoy the show show this is in the first place. I wish I could tell you. Like I said before, this is my first time being here. I guess we're all in for a surprise then. Yes, so. Let's be attentive and look for anything suspicious. Attention, yes. The show is about to begin. Please keep the good money confined in their book box and keep all electronic devices off for on, on silent. Thank you. It's about to start. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> what? What a beautiful crowd we have today. It is an honor to host this lovely show once again for you all. In fact, I think something out of the ordinary is definitely in order. You all deserve a special something. I brought a very special guest with me here today. I want you all to be nice. Please come out and say hello to our audience. 
Shen. What? What in the world? What the? There's no way. That's, isn't it? Uh, hello everyone. How's it going? Now, now, there's no need to be shy. Sorry everyone, this is their first time being on stage like this. Yeah, I better get, I get, I'll get better at this, I hope. <laughs> eh? Anyway, we'd like to announce that the special event with last week's winner went flawless. Before we start the show, we'd like to announce the winner for this week. Now let's search the audience for this week's winner, which is based on raffle by the way. And let's look, and look. Oh no. Less oh knowing and more looking that way this week wintering. Cause, cause, I mean, mom, look literally right in front of you. Eh? Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 Be. But, but, they're not supposed to be here. But what do we do? I'm so very sorry, everyone, but the show is being cancelled due to unforeseen circumstances. What? I skipped work for this. You can't do this. We spent so much of these seconds. Yes, yes, I'm so very sorry, but we must end the show a little early tonight. Please remember that tickets are non-refundable. Thank you and have a nice night. What? Phew. Damn, that was way too close. But that's where the fun comes in, right? No, Cosmia, I don't want to do this anymore. Why are we doing this? Uh. How many times do I have to tell you not to call me Cosmia when I'm in disguise? But fine, if you're so inclined to, I can at least show you my true colors. Why don't you show yours too? Oh, that's right. You can't. You're stuck like that, so shut your mouth. God, you're so annoying, Comet. Such an annoying brother you are. Didn't you hear me? I heard you loud and clear. Brainless. Completely brainless. Whatever. Our time here is up. We can't keep pretending to be dead bitch and live multiple beauty path anymore. We'll just get our asses caught. Not cool. What am I going to do? Just change. You just reminded me that I couldn't. You know it's not that easy, Cosmia. You with You with no with it's if it's not the, that the, easy but that is Cosmia. This. That's You know it not that easy, Cosmia. <laughs> Don't care. If it's easy enough, choose another look, and I'll, or I'll kick your ass. Simple. After you do that, we can proceed to step two on our plan, remember? Just endure my annoying attitude for a little while longer, and we're out of danger, so I'll do. Heck, if you attempt to, you can even leave me forever, but we all know how to defend it. Alright, let's see. No need to stick around there. So, what just happened? What were we looking at? What's clear as day is also the most cloudy. Why are there two Shens? Do you know anything about this? Hmm, I didn't think so. Just don't look at me like that. I was just asking. I'm not sure we got much out of that, honestly. The show barely lasted a minute. They saw Shen and ditched the entire thing. We should tell the others about this. Rodia told me she was thinking about taking a group to meet this cafe. She's most likely there with the rest. Perfect, let's make our way there now. Stop right there. What have you three done? What are you talking about? The show ended abruptly the moment Nancy saw you three. By her reaction, it's obvious that you three clearly interrupted her in some way. And by the looks of it, the culprit's is clear. You there, the shabby looking one behind Huey. Y you know my name? Be quiet, you will not speak unless spoken to. You clearly look like Nancy's child, Shen, yet you were in the audience and not the stage. Why are there two of you? Who are you to talk as to us in such a manner anyway? We are not obliged to answer any of your questions. My name is Thomas. Thomas Blakery. Blakery? You will remember that name. Thomas Blakery? Aren't you the next heir of the Blakery Foundation? No, I am not. That title goes to my stepsister, Slacky Blakery. Hmm. Why aren't you the heir of Blakery Co? That's beside the point. For once, this conversation is about how great I am. You would do well to learn your place, Winch. Hey, who the hell do you think you are? I told you who I was already. I told you that you would remember my name. Well, I don't care. Don't you dare talk to Lavender that way. What are you going to do? You're just some poor boy who couldn't afford to stand on the same sidewalk as me. Why don't you do something useful for once in your life? Let's start with throwing yourself in a br over a bridge. Who knows? Maybe after you're gone, Rune may come out of hiding. 
Then she'd kill herself after knowing she failed to do anything significant with her wishes. <coughs> How dare you defile my face? How dare you disrespect Arun? Be glad that I'm feeling quite forgiving. The alternative would not have been pretty. Do, don't you threaten me, creature. You will pay for this, Lavender. Huey, are you all right? Am I all right? Are you all right? You just slapped Thomas Blakery, one of the most powerful people in Grand Dream City. I did, didn't I? Oh, well, I suppose I'll pay for that one later. No, you won't. Next time, I'll protect you. Don't be silly, Huey. I don't need anyone's protection. Besides, I would have never done something so rash without you here. You gave me strength. <laughs> Let's head on over to Mika's Cafe. That's where you said Rody and the other guests may be at the moment, right? Y yeah. There's no need to run, Lavender. You'll trip and hurt yourself. Mm. Hmm. Guess I'll take the scenic route this time. It's not really that far anyways. Damn time. We were all fed up with waiting, so we came here ourselves. Sorry, Rodia. It was my fault. No, it's, it was my fault, too. I agreed to help her with something. Guys, relax. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, Sandra called and told me I have to fill out some paperwork for the festival. So I'll be leaving you all for a little while. Just don't get into trouble, okay? Yes, Rodia. Okay, I'll be back soon. That's way too late. Hey, look. Shen, Huey, and... Levin. I'm the psychic type gym. Psychic, huh? You're my sworn enemy. I'm sorry, did I offend you? Nah, I just meant psychic types crash my poison types. I see. And you are? Venom, the poison type gym. White haired girl is Aaron. White haired boy is Kane. Blonde haired girl is Malia. Nice to meet you. Alright, oh, I just realized that Aaron is here. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Shed, Aaron was just about to tell us some more details about Alita. Don't get your hopes up, because she's not back at home. Hey, Lita, she really pisses me off sometimes. I just don't understand how you can't stay put. Because of her, I'm not allowed back into the house until I find her. I've already checked the entirety of Route 7, 8, and 9. Uh, I just don't know what to do. Excuse me, but who is Alita? She's a mutual friend of Shen's group and I. And I'm using the term friend quite loosely. When did you lose her? We were on our way to Route 7 when we got separated somehow. I honestly don't know how it happened. I've been spending this whole time looking for it. I see. You and I are also looking for someone lost. So I've heard. Rune was her name? Yeah, she was my sister. Sorry to hear about her disappearance. That aside, Huey, Shen and I have something we need to share with you all. What's that? We were looking for stuff regarding Talon's disappearance, right? While on our investigation, we figured out that Talon visited the Magnolia Theater the day before he... Yes, anyway, we went to the same show he went to and... The show was hosted by some woman named Nancy, and some who, someone who looked exactly like Shen. Someone who looked exactly like Shen? Nancy, wasn't that the name of your mother? Oh my, this explains what happened at Grand Dream Station. When we were getting our vaccinations, the ladies working there said she already gave Shen her third dose. What if she thought that because she thought Shen's doppelganger was the real Shen? If that's the case, then it seems quite likely. Excuse me for interrupting, but what does this show have to do with Helen? Right, well, we found a letter that told him to meet with Nancy at Amber Park at midnight. That's exactly the spot where I found him encased in stone. Uh-huh, so he actually went out to Amber Park at midnight because the letter told him to do so? What an idiot. A bait can't be more any more obvious than that. Are you kidding? Well... Excuse me, I'm sorry to intrude, but I couldn't help but hear that you, some of you attended a show at the Magnolia Theater. Yes, that's correct. Great. 
I just wanted to know if I could get an interview with those that went. I'm a journalist, you see. I'm trying to write a column on the Magnolia's theater raps. You want to interview us? Yes, if that would be all right. Uh, I suppose we could. Um, not to be rude, but we were kind of in the of some... N no, it couldn't be. Um, Venom? Is something wrong? It, it is! Valerie? What? Ah, so you have heard of me. I suppose one of my work is starting to fly around. What are you talking about? Don't you recognize me? Venom, please calm down. I think you have the wrong person. I don't think this person is... V Valerie? Uh, uh, are you guys all right? You really don't recognize us? Don't you remember Brakeson, Adam, Saki? You have to remember us. I I'm sorry, but I I'm getting a little uncomfortable. I've never seen any of you in my entire life. I don't know who Adam or Brakeson is either. So you remember Saki? What are you people on? I don't know. I know who Saki Blakery is, but I don't know her. Then you must know where Saki is. Then you must know where Saki is? I'm an interviewer, not the person getting interviewed. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm leaving. You all are starting to really creep me out. Interesting. What the fuck just happened? That was Valerie. Clearly she didn't know who any of you were. Are you absolutely sure that was here? Yes, it took me a bit, but I recognized her as well. That was definitely Valerie, but she looks so different. What is going on in this city? Whatever it is, it's huge. I'm going back to the penthouse. I had enough for today. I guess we're done too, then. I hate to rely on other people's for help. But do you mind if I stay with you guys for the night? I really love to go home, but it seems as though I'm not even allowed there. I'm sure Woody would be fine with it. If anything, you can take my bed. I'm quite fine on the couch. Oh, no, that's fine. I can sleep on the couch. No, it's fine. I insist. Come. I'll show you where you are staying. Thank you. I guess we're all heading back home for today. We all have a lot to think about. Perhaps we'll leave that for tomorrow. Now I'm intrigued. I am very intrigued now. If that was Valerie and she looked so different, you guys might not remember this, but before I met up with um, Flora, I was checking out the dark like woods, and there was a girl um, in a, a different direction to where Flora and Florin were, and she had red hair, and she was uh, acting all modest and teleported and disappeared. So I'm wondering, is was that Alita? Because apparently their personalities and looks completely changed after they got here. Interesting. I'm starting to wonder if a, multiple people are experiencing ch uh, changes. Maybe Saki, um, maybe Saki, Brakeson, and Adam are going to make an appearance as completely different characters than they were before. But what's causing this even to happen anyway? Looks like everyone is either going to sleep or getting ready to. I guess it's not too odd. We've had an extremely long day. Your room is in the top. Your room is the top left room, right? I think Rudy is saying that Root used to be Rune's room. As for me, I'm not looking forward to sleeping on the sink. I haven't exactly been having the greatest stream thing. Maybe I'm just stressed as all. Well. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Oh no, don't tell me it's the golden vaccine. This place is so different. I'm not sure if it's... Oh, okay. Are you sure that was your friend? She seems so pretty confident about not knowing any of you. This stuff is all just so crazy. I don't know what to think. Despite what happened today, I think we're on the right track. Let's just hope we don't do it. This place is even fancier than I imagined. Sure beats sleeping on a futon here. No complaints here.
I know for sure that was Valerie. Why the hell didn't she remember us? Why didn't she remember anyone but Saki? I've been trying not to worry, but goddamn, this is becoming too much. I'm not even one to worry. What the hell is happening? Familiar scene, familiar faces. Dream a dream, so great. That it becomes a nightmare. Interceptor, oh Interceptor. What is your name, oh young Interceptor? What are your dreams, young Interceptor? Which mind will you inhabit next, the Interceptor? Night fades slowly, we meet again. To you, young Interceptor. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up? Hey, I said wake up! Oop. Sheesh, you're a heavy sleeper, you know. I've been trying to wake you up for at least five minutes now. Rodia told me that to tell you that Flora wants to see you at a botanical garden. And now that I've told you that, I'm going to continue my painful search for Elita. You know what a botanical garden is, right? It's just north of Grand Dream Station. Shen. Everyone's already left to go about their business. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Did you order anything? Really? You have it? I just got a notification from SPU that they're delivering three packages later today. I've already asked everyone else, but no one seems to have ordered anything recently. It's not a big deal, though. It's probably just a mistake. If anything, we'll just send it back. Have a nice day, Shen. I'm worried. I am really worried. Damn it! Being a silent protagonist, I can't tell her that I think this is a trap. Because there just happens to be a double ganger of me, just happens to be using my name, and this, and all of a sudden I just happen to be getting a package delivered to our, our location. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. So there's like a concealed odor, completely. Science is amazing. The water that flows in and out of the sewer is actually a ripple. The water is purified and clean, cleansed before flowing out of the sewer. Make sure to stay out of trouble at all times. Excuse me, are you here to for the garden or for a gym challenge? If it's for a challenge, I don't have to wait. Um, excuse me? I'm so sorry to intrude, but Shen is a very special guest. Please treat them with kindness. Oh my, pardon me, Flora. Please, Shen, enjoy your time here. This way, Shen. What a sweet girl. Flora's in charge of the flower parade during the Festival of Dreams. The flower parade is really cool, pretty and cool. I'm not sure if you, I saw this correctly, but some of the gates may be damaged in here. Theoretically, someone could slide past these gates and get past them. Nature is so beautiful. You can take so many shapes, shapes, sizes, colors, and forms. You just never know what you're going to get with nature. It's quite strange to have trees appear with unnatural colors. I suppose that's art in its own way, though. Ah, 
took you long enough, Shen. Listen, as much as it pains me to say this, I'm pretty glad you didn't rat me out to my brother when you had the opportunity to do so. And like I said, we have blades. Uh, ah, I didn't get to read all the dialogue. Well, you, you are a part of Blade Star, whether you like it or not. Follow me. Are you familiar with these types of trees? Um, I think so, actually. I know I've seen one of them before going to Amethyst Cave. And I think there are some of them from other areas as well. If you've ever been to Route 4, then you should. They're my creation, and I'm quite proud of them. I do have favorites, though. My favorites in order are blue, red, magenta, purple, and green. Blue, red, purple. Pu blue, red, magenta, purple, green. I'm guessing that's the code. Did you get that? Good job, Shen. At least I know you can follow simple, subtle directions. This elevator will take us beneath the garden and into Bladestar's base. But before we do, let's go. Shen, you better be in here. Oh dear. That incompetent receptionist. I told her to lock the damn doors after my guest arrived. Aaron, that's not what it looks like. Hmm. Listen, Eric, just... Wow, you're pretty fast. The only way you could have been that fast is if... If I had known you were going to attack me. I mean, why wouldn't you? It'd be pretty unfortunate if I were to leave the same place with such a beauty. Hmm. There's something about you that intrigues me, Eric. Oh yeah? What's that? You notice things most people don't. You take in information and process them at alarming speeds. So fast that you were able to protect my attack by the just a flight of hand. You're an incredible analyzer. We could use someone like you on our team. Sorry to disappoint, but I don't join Team Front Press. <clears throat> I join the team that makes the most logical sense. And we don't? Besides, your uniform is exactly my style. Absolutely. Go! Ah! Cradley, save me! That's all right! Us! Now for the abs on. <sighs> that was a good effort, Aaron, but I've already thought of every outcome. Did you really think that I would leave myself in a bone position like that? I rest too much to get where I am now, and my Pokemon feel the same way. Even if you were to take me down now, my loyal followers know what to do with such a fake word to have a good quality. Meet us on the ground, Shane. And yes, I mean us. Aaron is coming with me. We're going to make Grand Dream City great again. Just you wait. Mm. We're working towards a better future for all inhabitants of Grand Dream City. Hey, weren't you meddling with us in Dark Light Cave? What are you doing here? Hey, only authorized grunts are allowed past this point. Place in the Grand Hall and are waiting for your orders. Good, I'll be there momentarily. By the way, did Henry and Jody come back from the place I told them to investigate? Negative, ma'am. In fact, we haven't heard anything from them at all. Shh. How hard is it to sneak through one apartment? I know it's a pit house, but it shouldn't take this long. Whatever, just go on ahead. Yes, ma'am. Ah, Shen. It looks like you're concerned about Erin. Well, I wouldn't be concerned with her. She's going to be just fine. All I want is for her to listen to my speech during today's rally. If she's as good of an analyzer than I think, then she'll make the appropriate decision. It's all for a better future.
<laughs> My head feels horrible. Uh, where the hell are we? I remember now. I got too close and then Flora knocked me out. I wasn't expecting her crater league to attack me after she asked for help. Damn her. And what about you? How long have you been a Blade Star member? You and Flora teamed up together because you both didn't want to be found out, correct? Hmm, how typical. Attention all Blade Star members. The rally is about to begin. What a beautiful today it is. I am honored to be in your presence once again. Today we celebrate the progress Team Blade Star has achieved. At this point in my time, my brother Florian is meeting with Cassandra to discuss further finding funding to rest help restore the Badlands. As you know, the Badlands is a place where life is difficult. Where nothing but a barren desert, a lethal forest, and an inhabitable volcanic land exists. But due to our efforts, we have restored life to many areas located in the Badlands. And it only and it's only thanks to all of you that this has been possible. Please be proud. But before we can, but before we can completely restore the Badlands, we must first take down our greatest enemy, Cassandra. We will rip down her threat of tyranny and will create a better future for all of us. A better future for your beloved ones. A better future for your children. I shall deny no one of a life they rightfully deserve. Here I am, the mother of all Blade Star members. I would love and cherish each and every one of you like my own. We will make Grand Gym City the greatest place in the entire universe. And how did you two enjoy the show? Hmm. Cut the attitude and just say what you want. I have a question for you and Shen. Ask away. You two were obviously working together in dark light caves. What was the point of that place anyway? First of all, Shen has only recently joined, and although not exactly out of choice, they haven't ratted me out either, so... Secondly, that place was the first HQ we had before I made what had enough funding to be built this place in secret. Let me tell you, hiring people to make secret underground areas ain't cheap. Well then, I'm joining Blade Star as well. <sighs> I thought as much. Blade... Wait, what? You heard me. I'm joining Blade Star. Uh, I didn't expect you to join so easily. Why? It's clear that you actually care about the city, so why not? <clears throat> right. Uh, right, uh, all right. Welcome to Blade Star, then. I have a mission solely for Shen, but I don't see why you can't join them. It will be a little while before we'll be able to go through with it, so I'm putting you two on standby. Until then, I'll be seeing you two later. Yep, it's just like you said, Flora. I'll analyze information and make decisions based off of your given information. And with that, I've made the conclusion that I'll strike you down personally. I'm sure you don't actually care about being a member. You are just forced to be a member. Good to know. I'm going to hit the road. I didn't intend to go through with all of this. I only came here to tell you that Venom wanted you to meet her in the shopping district while you, when you had time. It's funny how life works. Well, goodbye. I am now the owner of Team Blade Star, right here. Yep. Yep. Speech. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll head out now. I have a feeling we'll be back here. Who is it? It's me. Oh, please come in. Hey, I'm... Lock the door. It is locked. Good. It's good to see you again, Metalus. Is it really? In that case, it's really good to see you too, Cassandra. Ah. I was so surprised when I got Nevit call, Nevit's call from HQ. I and my Metalus were submitted to from her admin status. Oh no! Serves you right if you ask me. 
It's a good thing no one asked you. Cheeky, cheeky is always mentalist. You haven't changed at all. Neither have you. Hmm? But that's not all true. I mean, after all, I'm your new boss, right? Aw, what's with the long face? Smile for me, Medellis. This is a momentous occasion. Piss off. Hmm. What was that thing that Madame X said again? If Medellis screws up even a little, call me and she'll be done? I'm paraphrasing, of course, but that's just the gist of it, right? I suppose it went something like that. Right, so do as I say. Smile. I said, smile. Ah, love. That wasn't so hard now, was it? You should smile. Be happy that you're still functional. At least you're not Gira. You know what happened to Gira? Well, of course I know what happened to Gira. Tell me. Who are you talking to? I sure hope you aren't demanding orders from me. Whatever. Say I take this USB and want to transfer stuff into it. Um, okay. Look, you see the progress bar? Files are being transferred over. But oopsie daisy, I accidentally unplugged the USB. What does this have to do with anything? What happens when you take out the USB while it's undergoing file transfers? Well, in most cases, this, the file becomes corrupt and stops working. Mm-hmm, that's correct. Now that aside, I can't have you lurking in this office forever. Therefore, I got you a small job to keep by yourself occupied. W wait I'm so confused. What was that whole thing about? And please, change your clothes. I cannot believe you came here to my office wearing your Zen attire. Do you know what could have happened if I was seen talking to someone from Team Zen? My reputation would, that I worked so hard to build would be shattered in seconds. You can put your, on your old clothes next door. M my old clothes? You haven't answered my old question. Yes, your clothes from before all of this. It's been rotting away in my closet for so long. Just take it and get out. press it again. If I, if I remember, it's blue, green, no, uh, blue, no, purple, blue, red, magenta, green. Something like that, right? Well, it's been 37 minutes and I need to get to work after this. So, I guess after leaving the botanical gardens, episode but I think I'll go to the shopping district just so that I can remember that I need to go in that direction Guys in the next episode.